Hey, John, remember that story you were telling us uh, backstage? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I, I, think okay, it's, yeah. I think it's worth sharing. Oh, oh, well, it's, it's well, yeah. because... Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. It's, a, it, it's, it's such a, an, uh, yeah. <laughs> such a poignant tale. All right. I was telling him uh, about uh, my fall from grace. Grace didn't mind, but I did. Wait a minute now. <laughs> no, I was telling you that, that I used to live on the Bowery. I was a wino. I stayed messed up with a capital F. I was out there with all them cats. There's all kind of cats out there. Some of them had monkeys on their backs. One cat out there nodding. A well-dressed gentleman walked by. He said, does Crosstown Street car pass this way? The cat said, do da do da <laughs> Don't laugh if you ain't sure. So I, <laughs> so I was there, you know, it's a way morning, one morning cat come by the, by, by the stoop where I was living and woke me up and told me that my wine drinking buddy of the last 10 years was in Bellevue Hospital dying. I said, oh, man, I got up. And I bummed 15 cents to ride the bus over there. I thought about it a minute. Got me some wine and walked. <laughs> now, do, do not be misled by my suave appearance today. Because in them days, I looked like eight miles of bomb Burma Road. I was ugly, spelled U-G-L-Y. So naturally, when I went up to the receptionist, she looked at me as scans. I put my wino gaze on her. And I said to her in stentorian tones, I said, I really can't And she said, 304. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> so I went to the room. The doctor says, your friend is dying. I said, oh. I went over to his bedside and looked down at him. I said, man, I'm sure I'm sorry you're dying. He looked up at me. He said, you sorry? I said, is there anything I can do for you? Last favors? Anything? What can I do? You know, you come by my grave every night and pour a fizzy wine on it. I said, certainly. I hope you don't mind if it passed through my kidney first. <laughs> 